Well, starting today, bars across Texas can reopen to 50% capacity, this as long as they meet the minimum requirements that are set out by Governor Greg Abbott. Entertainment venues can also increase their occupancy up to 75% now. Six News reporter Barry Roy has more on what this means for our local businesses. Oh, absolutely. I think everyone had that old, old wow moment. Jonathan Segovia with the Waco Hippodrome remembers the moment everything was shut down back in March. It would seem like we were, you know, week to week, day to day, then hour to hour. I mean, it could change that by the end of the day, something started one, uh, how, you know, we were completely open at, at the beginning of the day and then shut down at the end, at, by the end of it. So. The Hippodrome has stayed open uh, since that, the beginning that. of May, he says, because they aren't just a movie showing venue, as they've had dueling piano shows, comedy shows, and some outdoor concerts on their rooftop to help keep things afloat. Declaration of War. The Grand Avenue Theater in Belton, which is a movie showing venue, said today they are excited to allow more people inside, but the excitement is tempered, telling 6 News in a statement that they have mixed emotions because most of the large studio movies have vacated the rest of the year, and March 2021 is the current slate for large movies to return on a regular basis. Hell, <laughs> it's, it's been miserable. Robin Evans, um, who owns the bar on Veterans in Harker Heights, says she just renewed the lease last month to help keep the doors open. I've got a lot of people behind me that don't want me to give up, and I'm not going to give up. So for the next two years, she says they will play, host concerts, karaoke, and pool tournaments in hopes of keeping the doors open for anyone who wants to come by for a drink. You know, wear the mask in the door, wear the mask when you go to the bathroom. It's not asking a whole lot. You Robin, whose employees she can't down. bring back right now, said her hope for the future is that everyone follows the rules and plays fair so she can keep her American dream alive. That all this will go away, that we'll be able to open 100%. I don't have to worry day to day if we're going to get shut down again. In Harker Heights, Barry Roy, 50 Six News. Good. Yeah, great story, Barry. We are pulling and rooting for our local businesses. Good luck. We have more information on the reopening plan at our website, kcentv.com.